My name is Dr. Sarah Myhill and I'm here for Life the Basic Manual. The starting point to treat all modern pathology, all Western pathology, is the paleoketogenic diet. And I worked out very early on that without bread, people are going to struggle to do that. So I got up early every morning for about six months um, and played around with various flours and combinations and have now come up with a recipe that now works every single time without fail and is delicious. There are only three ingredients. There is ground linseed, which is in there. There is salt, and I like to use my sunshine salt, it's got all the minerals in, and water. It's got to be just the right proportion to work. It's got to be exactly 250 grams of ground linseed, freshly ground, and exactly 270 mils of water. The proportion has got to be right. And then once you've got that, you just pour it in and mix it. Now, as I'm mixing, as you can see, it looks rather unlikely. Oh, I also put fennel seeds in this um, because um, my daughter says it tastes a bit fishy without something added. So fennel seeds or caraway or cumin are delicious. And initially when you put in, you think, oh, there's too much water there. This looks like a porridge. But don't lose heart. Keep stirring, it all comes right. And as you stir it around, you'll find it starts to stick together um, into a bit of a lump. So having put the dough together, you then end up with um, a dough that looks like that. And at this point, leave it for about 10 minutes because the linseed further absorbs water and it, it develops a much better texture for the businesses of making buns. My original paleo loaf, I used to make the dough and put it in one baking um, um, tray and then straight in the oven. But so many people have had trouble with that. It doesn't cook well. Either it's soggy in the middle or the, the, the outside cooks and the inside doesn't and you get a big air gap. So these days I make buns and the buns are just as well easier to make and they cook reliably well. So since doing that I've never had a failure and I've had happy feedback from others. Once you have the dough prepared you need some coconut oil to stop it sticking onto your hands and the table and grab the dough and just massage it into a about the length and shape of a rolling pin. Two, three, one, two, three. And then just drop those into um, um, a Pyrex dish. Temperature about 210 degrees centigrade. Um, so that's what they come out looking like. And um, then I just put them on a tray to cool. Job's done. <laughs> it looks like bread on the inside. So happy eating. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs>